9-11 is a time of reflection. Many civilians and first responders can recall exactly where they were on that day. It's very close to home. Uh, no matter where we go in North America, we find that the fire service uh, is a brotherhood. And uh, we feel for other firefighters who are suffering the same as us. A day like today is a reminder that uh, we are all first responders. We all work together and it is a brotherhood. A very emotional day for me, it, and it is a brotherhood and sisterhood. Uh, even all these years later, uh, it's a very, very special day that we have to take the time to remember, remember those that fell in 9-11, but all of those uh, the fire services and EMS and police services that have given their life since, uh, and today recognizing the fire services and EMS. Since September 11th of 2018, 164 men and women in North America have lost their lives in the line of duty. September 11th is a benchmark of pure selflessness displayed by the brave men and women on that day. Locally, fire and police services marched downtown to display a unified front. I was on duty that day actually, and I remember standing around the TV just awestruck, just speechless as to what was happening and, and thinking of the firefighters that were losing their lives that day. That morning I remember vividly one of the officers coming in and talking about a plane hitting. Our initial thought was a Cessna or a Piper, like a small plane. And once we realized the, the gravity of the situation, uh, the conversation quickly shifted uh, in, in that area to about what, what our potential targets and knowing that a lot of the energy generated at that station went to New York State. Uh, it, 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 everybody's uh, senses were heightened. For Bridge City News, I'm Ainsley O'Reilly.